Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Let's talk about meningococcal conjugated vaccine. For meningococcal conjugated vaccine, all children at the age of 11 to 12 years old should receive the vaccine. And also, adolescents previously unvaccinated at 15 years of age should also get the vaccine. Anybody else is considered high risk if they are college freshmen in dormitories, uh, military personnel, all children at least two years of age with high risk conditions. So let's review that one more time. For the meningococcal conjugated vaccine, children between 11 to 12 years old and all adolescents previously unvaccinated at 15 years of age. And then anybody else in high risk groups such as college freshmen, military personnel and children at least two years of age with high risk of conditions. Those are considered high risk and they should be conjugated and given the vaccine. Now let's talk about the rotavirus. The rotavirus is a oral live attenuated vaccine. Three doses should be given at two, four and six months of age first dose can be given as early as six weeks but no later than 12 weeks so six weeks but no later than 12 weeks and also do not give any rotavirus dose if the patient is greater than eight months and an older vaccine is linked to intussusception so that's one of the high yield points so let's review rotavirus one more time oral live attenuated vaccine between 2, 4, 6 months of age. You would not give it to patients who are greater than 8 months. The older vaccine has been linked to intussusception and the first dose can be given as early as 6 weeks but no later than 12 weeks. Now let us talk about some of the other high yield vaccination points that you should remember for the board exam. What about pneumococcal vaccine? Well pneumococcal vaccine um, the four dosages should be completed by 12 to 15 months of age. You should again give these between two, four, and six months. And the routine one is the heptavalent pneumococcal conjugate, which is the PCV13. If it's incomplete, then you can follow the catch up per schedule, and between two years of age, you can cover the ones that are missed. But no further dosages should be given after five years. So for pneumococcal, no further dosages after five years. For rotavirus, no further dosages after eight months. High risk patients include classically sickle cell patients and they should also receive the PPV23, which is the pure polysaccharide pneumococcal vaccine 23 valent after two years of age. Again, the PPV23 is given to sickle cell COPD and elderly patients. Now let's talk about varicella and the MMR vaccine. The varicella and the MMR vaccine is given at a, at least 12 months of age or older for healthy children who have not had the disease. So each with the two dosages the second one is given during the preschool visit. So that's approximately between four to six years. Transmission of the virus is rare and most adults are immune, so it's okay to give the child if there's a household contact with pregnancy or immunocompromised state. Remember this fact because it's a high yield point that the board likes to talk about. It's okay to give the child the varicella and the MMR vaccine if there is a household contact with pregnancy or immunocompromised. Remember to wait if recently administered IgG and it's not given to immunocompromised patients except for HIV. So if the board exam talks to you about a patient um, and their household has pregnancy or an immunocompromised state involved with somebody in their house having either of those two, it's still okay to give the child varicella and MMR. Now, if the child was recently administered an IgG, and that could be due to several reasons, 
Um, we could be due to a vaccine or an, something that you need to cover for, things like that. If that's the case, then remember you have to wait a little bit before you can give the varicella and the MMR vaccine. It is not given to immunocompromised patients except for HIV. And that's another high yield point. HIV patients can receive the varicella and the MMR vaccine. Okay? It's okay to give HIV patients varicella and MMR vaccine.